Lena, thank you so much for being here. As I said, everybody is talking about this show and you. It's got to be pretty <laughs> exciting right now. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been an amazing uh, journey, as they say. <laughs> Very nice. It didn't need quotes, but I'm glad you put them on. Uh, oh. Sex. Uh, people are saying this is Sex in the City for the next generation, and it does feel, I think there are probably shows that have tried to make that claim before, but it does feel like you've, you've captured something about this young generation, and it, it's as if you really know this world. Well, thank you. I kind of think about it as a show for girls who came to New York having watched Sex in the City and wanting the life that they saw depicted on that show, but then they got there and there were like no Manolos, they had to like wear mismatched sneakers on the subway, and like right. their boyfriend was not Chris Noth, and everything was just had gone to hell in a handbasket, and that's sort of the, the world that I was trying to capture. One of the things I think is very endearing and interesting about the show is that you seem fearless about, as we just saw in that scene, you, uh, you'll make yourself, you know, very vulnerable in this show. There's uh, some very graphic sex scenes, and you are, you know, really willing to put yourself out there and maybe not always in the most flattering situation. Is that right? I would say that's an accurate representation of what I'm doing. I mean, the sex scene thing is funny because I do a lot of sex scenes in the show, and I'm usually nude for them because unlike so many films we see where women are having sex in like a kind of a perky negligee. A lot of times people get naked to have sex, I think. I never have, actually. <laughs> I, I'm always in a tuxedo. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how I would like yeah, to, yeah. to have sex with you. I don't want to have sex with you. I'm sorry. Um, I, I understand I, you want to, but you respect <laughs> my wedding ring. Yeah. There that's you go. what's going on. Not that I don't want to. <laughs> so, <laughs> Every so. girl wants to. <laughs> He's anyway. really tall. Yeah. Um, so, basically, the sex scenes, I will be sitting there, lying there, kind of being slammed by a naked body, thinking, I want out of this bed, I want out of this scene, I want out of this life, who did this to me? And then I realize, I'm my own boss, I've written it, I'm directing it, I'm the person holding myself in sexual slavery. Right. And you did this to yourself. Yeah. yeah. And so there was one time on set where I was doing a sex scene. I say it's easier to do awkward sex scenes, I think, than it is to look like you're enjoying yourself. And I was doing a sex scene, and Judd Apatow, who's the executive producer of the yes. show, mm -hmm. a wonderful man, was on set, and he's never pushing me in the nudity direction. If anything, he pulls me back and goes, we don't want this to look like a fetish, why don't you put your shirt on? But so I, a fetish of yours, uh -huh. of yours. But um, so anyway, um, I was doing the sex scene, and I said, you know what, I'm done, I think we got what we need, and Judd said, no, Lena, you need to do another take. And I was like, at this point, chafed, exhausted, wanted no more of it, and he said, um, <laughs> and he said, we need you to do another one because you look like you're being murdered. Yeah, yeah. So, and you have to was, look like you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.